Hi, thanks for joining me today. We have C1 up for review. She's a beautiful, very highly spec built boat from Bloomsma Van Bremen, which is a quality shipyard. It has great pedigree in Mackham in the Netherlands, uh, Holland. Mackham is where a lot of the sort of higher quality shipyards are all clustered around this same area. Uh, fed ships are there, Amels are there, and in fact, uh, Bloomsma Van Bremen quite often do uh, contract work for those um, very well-known super yacht manufacturers. So a great quality yard here. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then down the bottom of the screen here is the link over to insideyachting.com. So get yourselves over to the website. Um, that's where all the great links and further information is. And if you're already over on insideyachting.com, then on the right hand side here is the Yacht Pack button. The Yacht Pack's already created for this boat and inside that has all the photographs, all the specifications, detailed descriptions, and the pricing analysis for this particular boat as well. So get that uh, Yacht Pack and we'll have some other sort of links in and call outs to you at the end of the video. So let's take a look at C1. A nice profile shot there. She, as the same as the other two boats that we had for you this week, is sort of a long range cruiser, that adventure style boat. Um, she is 96 feet long, almost 24 feet in the beam and uh, just over seven foot draft. Now the boat is a steel hull and aluminium superstructure. The, the thickness of the plate steel is actually far greater than anything that you would expect to see on a boat of this size. It's probably about the same thickness of boats in the sort of 190 to, to 200 foot range. So the original builder of the boat wanted it to be very stable at sea, a great sea going vessel. So that's why he opted for that um, far greater thickness to to make the boat that much more sturdy in, in foul weather conditions and, and you really feel it on board and in fact the boat went through a pretty major refit period in 2009 and 2010 and at that point they added some keel to the boat and also a bulbous bow so she is a great seagoing vessel um, at the moment so originally she was built in 2003 as uh, she is currently for sale she's here in south florida she's asking seven and a half million us dollars so let's take a look at some of the photographs so here you can see the um, interior is a beautiful comfortable feel the millwork on board is all sort of a higher quality than you would expect to see from a lot of boats in this size range and of this style. It's just a very comfortable area to be in the inside of this boat. It's tough to explain it unless you actually get on board and, and sort of touch and, and feel things for yourself. But it's nice having this high gloss and satin millwork and then it, it's sort of toned down with the cream soft goods and, and the furniture beautiful detail to the ceiling as well so it's not an an overdone interior it's it's quite understated but just very very comfortable so on the left hand side here we can see the main salon into the dining room um, that central staircase that you see in the bottom photograph towards the back that's actually a spiral staircase that goes from the lower deck right up to the flybridge and we'll see uh, that a little bit more later on so over on to the right hand side into the master cabin again continues this sort of luxurious nice um, almost a, an apartment feel to to the uh to the interior here the beautiful sort of seating area in the cabin nice king size bed it continues that details to the to the ceiling so the master cabin is is full beam it's on the center line of the boat amidships um, that's the most stable part of the vessel as we've seen in in other reviews as well the boat does have stabilizers. It now has that bulbous bow and the keel. So she's very, very stable as she is. And, and the master cabin being right in the center of the boat here 
just improves on that feel of the boat when she's at sea. So you see the flat screen TV there, all of the electronics have been upgraded in 2010. So she has sat TV, flat screens throughout. Um, the, each cabin has its own control of a sat TV uh, box. She also has VSAT on board. So the VSAT is connected to the Wi-Fi that runs throughout the boat and the Wi-Fi can be connected to the cellular network if you're either dark or it can pick up Wi-Fi from the marina um, and it can also be connected to the VSAT so you can have internet wherever the boat is in the world so a real great feature to have there on this boat. So the master cabin um, it has ensuite bathroom all three of the cabins are ensuite um, in fact it's worth mentioning the boat is a three stateroom layout it's built as a sort of um, owner liveaboard almost um, the cabins the other two we've got a queen and the twin now it's three cabins but it does hold eight guests so the queen and the twin both have pullmans which are the the uh, beds that fold down from the from the wall so a nice higher occupancy there compared with the with the three the three cabins and having that three cabins is uh, you know the the boat is sort of targeted at f a fairly niche market so this isn't going to appeal to everyone but those people who are in that small cluster of of buyers that this boat is going to serve well this is really probably one of the best options that that's currently out there for a three stateroom adventure expedition style boat i really don't know that you can get um, any better than than this here um, it's worthwhile mentioning while we're on this these photographs the all of the windows throughout the boat during the original build were all upgraded to bulletproof glass um, the original owner i don't know whether there was some um, personal safety uh, um, concerns there or whether he just wanted it to add to the overall safety of the vessel at sea um, but a nice a nice feature to have there um, and that's the same for all of the portholes as well so the last photograph on this page the lower on the right hand side that's a master bathroom continues this beautiful luxurious feel throughout uh, the bathrooms as well they have the millwork that continues and then this this very nice marble package throughout there as well so here's the queen and the twin cabins that uh, doesn't show the pullmans but they are there uh, so the the master cabin is center then these two other cabins are just forwards of that and then all the way forwards in the bow are the the crew cabins and the crew mess so the engine room is aft and then after aft of that there's um, a lazarette and the lazarette actually has a lot of uh, battery banks in there there's a big inverter system that was fitted on board which means that you can be out at anchor and switch all of the machinery off switch the generators off and actually run the boat on this inverter system which is beautiful thing to have when you're at anchor dead quiet go complete silent ship it's a real nice experience there are a couple of other boats that have had it that we've reviewed in the past um, a, a lime and morse expert sort of trawler style boat called acadia that's since sold but it's a fantastic option to have and it's something that kind of um, drifts past the new buyers to the market who aren't quite as experienced but for that experienced yachtsman that's really looking for a boat to deliver a fantastic experience, um, these are the things that really light their eyes up and, and grab their attention. So it's a fantastic thing to have. So here we can see that spiral staircase on the top photograph on the right. That goes from the lower decks right the way up to the flybridge and has a nice feature on the, on the flybridge with a rotating sort of door that, that seals and, and opens that off and we can see that in some of the photographs later on in the brochure into the pilot house and the pilot house is slightly raised from the main deck level it's almost like a sort of raised pilot house um, theme or, or layout that they have here beautiful pilot house great visibility almost a sort of 
tug, Atlantic tug sort of feel to here with all the windows around this area. All of this navigation equipment has been upgraded and brought up to today's standards. So they have AIS system, Noble Tech software on board, chart plotters, radars, autopilot, everything here is, is the um, same things that you would expect to see on, on a brand new boat. Um, this is a nice area, has an L-shaped sofa back there and sort of more with the, the galley here is, is sort of separate. It's not a country style kitchen. Um, the pilot house is sort of separate as well. It's, it's more of a, an official sort of wheelhouse. So the, the boat being a, a European build is sort of more catered towards that service sort of um, experience. It doesn't have a, a huge amount of crew interaction in the guest areas. There's a bit more of a, a separation there. So here's the galley. Um, there's a lot of highly spec equipment in here runs with the general feel of the boat so all the appliances here are either viking or gagnos viking being the fridge freezers and gagnos the uh, microwave the ovens the cooktops the uh, dishwashers so that's european very very high quality industrial spec equipment um, very very expensive equipment fitted here so nice nice um, appliances so moving into some of the crew areas, there are two crew cabins on board. There's the captain's cabin and then a separate uh, twin cabin. So you, you do have the option for four crew. Um, she can run quite happily with, with three, with having um, only three guest cabins as well. It means that the overall number of crew that you need to, to run and service the boat is, is brought down. But of course, if you have a captain and, and wife team, then you could bring that up to, to um, four crew. So they, they have their cabins all the way up forward. So they have a nice separate crew lounge here as well, or, or crew mess, nice little dining area and, and some sort of very basic cooking features here as well. So moving on to the aft deck, uh, continues the sort of grand quality, uh, solid feel of, of, of the boat beautiful teak everywhere nice exterior dining here as well i love the varnish finish to the aft deck doors here too it really has a again it's tough to explain the feel of of this boat but she's such a, a solid product that you really have to get on board and, and experience it to appreciate how um good a yacht this this actually is and she's here in south florida so we include her in our yacht tours so if you'd like to get on board and and see if this is a right fit for you then from the website over on the right hand side there's the um, daily yacht tours button click on there leave your uh, name and, and contact details and when the most convenient time for you would be and i'm sure we'll be able to to fit you in so up onto the flybridge, they have this beautiful large uh, service countertop here, sort of a wet bar, has two great grills out here. They have the uh, fridge freezers, the um, ice makers up here as well. So all the equipment that you would need. Um, on the top photograph on the uh, left hand side, you can see that sort of TP shaped um, section behind the table there so that's the top of the spiral staircase so you see this feature on a couple of the older um, Christiansons I believe I've seen it on a Trinity as well so this actually rotates um, up and sort of opens up that staircase and then and then closes back down and and seals that uh, seals that opening off um, makes it completely weather tight it is also great because the top of it is all glass it actually allows huge amounts of natural sunlight to flood that stairwell as well so it's actually quite a beautiful feature to, to have on a boat um, so I have a repeater station up here from the main navigation equipment down in the wheelhouse the two screens here there's um, the the radars and, and the chart plotters that you would need to see if you're driving from this location and they have the bow thruster control and, and main engine control up here as well 
uh, jacuzzi up on this deck also and they have um, a, a big crane they, they carry around a, a wide body rib with a 115 four stroke on the back they also have jet skis they have kayaks they have stand-up paddle boards uh, they have dive equipment on board there are dive compressors they have underwater scooters for the dive gear so they really have just about every possible conceivable toy that you would want to see on a boat they have all of the inflatable equipment as well so it really adds to this sort of adventurous uh, lifestyle feel that the that the boat is is trying to get towards and with the fuel capacities on board they have over 13,000 gallons of fuel that they can carry on board over 2,000 gallons of water and of course they have the water makers as well but it just the boat is designed to to take you and go off off the map and and disappear go experience the world and and go visit all these islands that you um, perhaps couldn't otherwise get to so it's a fantastic boat and really will deliver a great experience for that that owner that's looking for that sort of um section to be added to his lifestyle system i i, mean, I love this boat i really like this boat so teak all the way through up here as well they do have some covers they have outside dining table for this deck um, and they have nice protective covers to uh, protect that teak from any kind of spillage as well so the boat has had three owners in its life span and each owner has added something from their own experiences the latest owner put it through the huge um, yard period and and added all of the the more efficient main engines they added new generators they added a whisper quiet generator that actually runs off of hot water rather than internal combustion which means it can run at night and be very silent they added that inverter system so you can shut everything off so it, it's really a, a very very well taken care of boat and in fact now it's far better than it was when she was brand new in 2003 so here we there here's that uh, protective matting for the um, outside dining area there and a, a, a very nice thing to have to um, sort of improve the longevity of, of what you would get out of the teak so looking at the GA or, or the the deck layout here you can see just on that right hand side photograph the master cabin midships right in the center of the boat beautiful full beam cabin taking advantage of the maximum width of the boat then moving forwards into the two uh, guest cabins have the queen on the starboard side the twin on the port and forward of that are the uh, the crew accommodations so we can also see the engine room sort of aft of the master cabin and then this huge lazarette that they have behind that as well and the lazarette has all the toys and things in it also has that big inverter bank as well so moving into some of the specifications this is a, a, a very very good write-up they've done a great job of detailing all of the equipment that's on board and then writing a nice sort of uh, detailed walk around so get that yacht pack it's here on the website uh, from that uh, yacht pack button leave us your name the name of the boat that you're interested in because remember we've already created one of these for every boat that's currently for sale on the market so if there's something else that you've seen not necessarily this boat then just request that yacht pack and we'll send it off to you right away so looking at some of the specifications 96 feet long uh, the yard is called Bloomsma van Bremen uh, which is the the Dutch yard in Mackham around all of the top pedigree yards that are in the in the industry 23 feet 8 inches in the beam just over seven foot draft she has that very very thick steel plating they've also added the bulbous bow and that section of keel that's uh, so a very very stable boat don't forget the bulletproof glass all the, the way throughout the the house and the portholes so uh, hugely hugely safe boat this there's the, the money that was spent in the original build you would never get 
anything of this quality for the same asking price as they're asking now, seven and a half million dollars, you just wouldn't be able to reproduce this boat. Uh, so the three cabins that can hold the eight uh, guests, remember, remember it has those two uh, Pullman beds. The fuel capacity here, over 13,000 gallons, over 2,000 gallons of water. Uh, the main engines are new, the generators are new, the main engines are MTUs, uh, the S60 main engines are only 425 horsepower, but the boat isn't designed to go fast, and in fact the maximum speed here is only 12 knots, and that fuel efficient speed, which will get you 5,000 nautical miles out of the fuel tanks is an incredible range. Um, so that fuel efficient speed is around 10 to, to 10 and a half knots. So not something that, that you're gonna get anywhere very fast, but it's not aimed for that type of buyer. It's aimed for the person, perhaps more of a, a sort of mature audience that are just happy to get on the boat, do a, a circumnavigation, do the Northern Loop and, and really get off of the beaten path and this is a fantastic option for that. So looking at some of the other specifications here, um, it goes through the length, the fuel tanks, the speeds, the machinery, the electricity that's on board. It's a 50 hertz system, a 380 volts, which is a, a European system. So the plug sockets and, and all the appliances on the interior are European. The boat does have a shore power converter on board, so it can take any power from the dock. It converts that though into a European uh, grade electricity, but that is something that could be changed in the future. But right now, it it is that that European um, European power. So the other machinery she has water makers on board. She has stabilizers and I had stabilizers. She has a VSAT on board, the SAT TV. She has Wi-Fi running all throughout, which can use the, the boat's cellular system for 3G or can take marina Wi-Fi. You can also pump it through that VSAT so you can have it anywhere in the world. Um, has hydraulic steering. It has a uh, hydraulic passer rail. It has uh, bow thrusters as a um, fuel separator and purifying system, which is great because the boat is designed to go to all of these off the beaten path locations. Quite often you will take on uh, slightly dirty fuel. So you need to have that, that uh, fuel spinning or, or fuel purification system to, to protect all of your machinery that runs off of the diesel. Uh, so the air conditioning system is also upgraded. The engine room ventilation is great throughout. It doesn't have any photographs of the engine room, but it is a fantastic uh, sort of ventilation system that they have on board. So you don't need to worry about overheating. And in fact, with uh, main engines at 425 horsepower, that's probably not something that's much of a concern anyway. So the, the communication and navigation system, we mentioned it has that uh, VSAT, the SAT TVs on board, Wi-Fi has radar, all of the navigation equipment has been upgraded and brought up to today's standards, the AIS, the uh, Noble Tech software, um, the gyros, magnetic compasses, autopilots, everything that you'd expect to see on a on a, actually a much larger vessel is, is on here as well. And it's that nice bridge, it has the interchangeable screens as well, so you can uh, switch the, the video screens to display whatever, whatever you want. So we move in some more of the entertainment equipment, the flat screen TVs in each of the cabins and throughout the guest areas. They all have access to their own satellite boxes as well. Uh, the galley has the upgraded Gagno equipment, which is the European industrial grade appliances. Uh, the crew mess, we saw the photographs of that. The tenders and toys, all of the jet skis, the Nautica wide body tender with the four stroke on the back. Um, the kayaks, stand up paddle boards, all the dive equipment, the dive compressors, the underwater scooters. 
um, and it details some of the deck equipment, the security equipment, firefighting, CCTV that's on board. Um, and moving into the right up there, you can you can read that if you get the the yacht pack. I'll let you read through that on your on your own um, on your own accord and, and at your own pace. Um, I'll point out at the end there of this write up, it does go into detail everything that was installed during the big refit period in 2009, 2010. And it's interesting to see everything that was spent on the boat to actually bring it up to a, a, a standard that you would launch things at today as far as um, navigation equipment and um, electronics and communication equipment. So. Um, a, a great boat, fantastic. They've installed the new engines, the new generators, all of the inverters, the communication. I mean, it's it's an incredible boat that you can see um, all of the expense and, and the attention to detail that was that was put into the boat, both during the build and during the refit period. And, and the refit period was sent back to a very, very prestigious yard, Delta Marine. Um, and the quality of that craftsmanship and, and their installs, you can all see the, the quality on, on board and the, um, the sort of no expense spared mentality that's gone into the product as she stands today. So a fantastic, fantastic boat, definitely one of my favorites. As I said, a niche market, this isn't gonna appeal to everyone. It is only three staterooms not high speeds. Um, sometimes this style of boat isn't everyone's cup of tea, but for those people that are looking for this adventure style expedition, sort of long range cruiser, this is a fantastic option for you to consider. So request that yacht pack, join us for the daily yacht tours. Um, we've also, on a side note, we've also just released our Facebook page. So we have the follow button down on the right hand side just below the yacht tours button so on that we'll post up some industry updates and some videos and some fun things on the page there so click on that follow us and, and keep up to date with everything that goes on in the industry so thanks for joining us today that's the last out of the three that we had for you this week um, the reviews this week were actually from a request of a client of mine that was looking for some adventure style boats so if there's a boat that you're interested in and you'd like me to do a review of then just contact me via the website and I'll be happy to throw that into the the mix of the upcoming reviews so thanks for joining and I'll see you next time